Sniff it out, Maya. Is that gold? Don't you be getting my nuggets. You get it for daddy. You get that gold yeah. for daddy. Right. Daddy deserves the gold. Uncle Tequila, not so much. Hey, good morning, kids. It's sardine time again. And this is Maya Dog. She's probably going to share some sardines with me. We just rescued her about a month ago. She's a blue healer, or what's commonly known as an Australian cattle dog. My wife had been wanting an Australian cattle dog for a while. And we found her, and she we knew she was the right new family member for us. So here she is. This morning's been a little bit productive. I got three little pieces. They're very small. I mean, they're really, really small. I don't know if you can even see them. I'll try to take a picture and magically float it in the video. But they're very, very small pieces of gold. Just been hunting, trying to find some float, or float, flood gold uh, with a monster. And it's funny, the area that we're in has some pretty coarse gold. In one piece from the area that hiked over, we hiked over from, um, which took probably about 45 minutes, is one of those, uh, you know, just regular plaster piece like you see. When we got into this area, which was a little bit more of a hike, um, some of the hillsides had washed away, and we, I was able to find a couple small pieces of the really coarse stuff. Um, Laszlo's over there hunting somewhere. I haven't seen him for probably two hours now, so I'm pretty sure he's got something. Hopefully, we kind of, you know, use the divide and conquer method sometimes. Uh, I certainly hope he's on to some gold. So it's sardine time again. Got some delicious sardines. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, my finger's all chopped up and it's kind of bent. Kind of injured it pretty good, but it's working. So anyway, today's more, today's hunt's been pretty good. I got three pieces. Mm, here, you want to try mm, There you go. Maya and I are going to share some sardines. We started out real early this morning. We got out here at dark, and we've been hunting since since dark or first light. Man, I can't talk today. I don't know what's up. But anyway. Here, a little observation that I had is oftentimes when I've hunted with PIs or that class of machines, whether it's a GP Extreme or 3500 or SD, SDC, something of that nature, the uh, wet ground has uh, really helped the machine perform. I'm not seeing that with a monster. It actually makes the ground noisier. The ground here is starting to dry out, but it's still fairly noisy. Maya, Maya, another sardine? There you go. Come on, man. Good girl. She's going over there in the shade munching on her sardine. So anyway, so far so good this morning, but again, the uh, wet ground seems to affect this machine pretty bad. I don't know. Maybe someone else has a different experience, and it may just be the ground that I'm in. But, it, you know, the wet ground just hasn't been good to this thing. And it may be the coil that I'm using. Well, no more, huh? There you go. Um, just a strange observation. I keep a log of every trip that I take. That's a date, where I went, what I found, what the conditions were. And I've done this for decades. So I've, I've been able to establish some really good patterns with these different machines that I've used to really understand how to make them, you know, the most effective that they can be. There you go, baby. Oh, this particular machine here, definitely not a, a big fan in this area of the wet ground. Now, I have hunted wet ground with it in other areas, and it was it was okay, but so maybe it is limited to this area, but I've noticed in wet ground, this thing just does not perform as well as it does in perfectly dry ground. 
And, uh, you know, my strength is at finding gold. It's not in uh, being all Mr. Technical. Looks like I got some more on my fingers. Yeah. Ah, she's really looking for some more sardines. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It's good, huh? She's looking for some more sardines. So my, my expertise is in finding gold, it's not understanding the electronics of gold detecting machines 100% uh, as far as theory, you know how to operate them. But So anyway, just a just a random comment there. So it's beautiful out here. I've got a great view from where I'm sitting. Beautiful desert. There's some bees buzzing around. I'm going to keep going. See if we can get some more. Um, but yeah, this, this wet ground in this particular area has not been nice to the monster. And again, like maybe your experience differs and that's totally cool. I've had it perform better in wet ground in other areas, but in this area here, it's not doing so great. Anyway, we're, we're super happy to have Maya as part of our uh, gold family. I'm going to teach her to sniff gold out. She's a gold sniffing dog. Um, she's kind of taken off over that way to go pee which is all right. So anyway, we'll catch you kids in a little while and we'll see what else we can talk out of the ground. So what do you think, Miss Papaya? Are you ready? Let's go, come on. Let's go find Laz, you ready to go find Laz? He's out there somewhere. Hey kids, well, Miss Papaya and I uh, went back to the last place we saw Laz. Took us about an hour to get over here and he's not here, so we're guessing he went back towards the quads, which is cool. So we'll catch up with them. It is getting a little warm, not bad. We probably get in there five or six hours today. But uh, we're gonna see if we can find him. I have a feeling he's onto something good. If he really found something good in this area, he'd be back here still. Um, he's a digging maniac. He's a gold finding maniac. He wouldn't have left. So I think he went back that way. We have a couple little, little patches and spots in here that we've worked before. Um, so, it's really nice to, you know, come out and know exactly where the gold is or where it was. You know, you can work these spots out. Gold doesn't stay um, anywhere forever. Um, it's definitely a finite resource. But we're going to uh, see if we can locate Laz. We'll catch up soon, kids. This wash is a, a crawl wash. Get your hands and knees and crawl through this sucker. <laughs> She's like, I'll make your coil go off. You yeah. better watch it. I got nuggets out of here. That's it. Make his coil go Thanks. off. Pee on, his, pee on his detector. Yeah, right. Good girl. Miss Papaya. <clears throat> Making a little sardine break. Another sardine break. Prospectors love sardines. What you think, girl? You want some sardines? You already had some sardines with me, huh? Yeah. You're the gold sniffing dog. Now, you've got three nuggets that you sniffed out for me. Now you got to sniff out 50 more. That's a quota for today. Can you do it? A big one for me. Yep, a big piece of trash for Laz. Okay, kids, there's my gold for today. And there's Miss Papaya. She sniffed him out. Oz and I hiked into another area and uh, doing some detecting so far. Not finding anything, but that's why they call it um, prospecting and not finding. So I'm going to put this gold away. Then I'll be right back to tell you a little bit about Maya's story or a little bit more. I shared a little earlier. And there she is, Miss Papaya. Good girl, you got you sniffed three nuggets for me today. Good girl, you got a great start. So, a little bit more about Maya's story. So, Maya's story actually starts um, quite a while ago, and uh, I've had dogs all my life. I think the most uh, dogs I've had at one time was four. I've had a wolf hybrid. I've had a uh, uh, Great Dane German Shepherd mixes and Labradors and uh, um, just a lot of different dogs. They've all been wonderful and great. And uh, our last dog was a husky, and some of you who know me and who've hunted with me and camped with me um, knew Hondo. Hondo was an amazing husky, uh, Siberian husky, and he lived to be 14. 
that's uh, really old for a husky from what the vet told us. And, you know, he passed away um, a few months back before my daughter went to college. And, and that's good because then she didn't have to worry about him. And uh, they basically grew up together. And so it was good for her not to worry. Uh, but he died surrounded by people he loved without being in pain. So, I mean, that's just the best death you could wish uh, for, for you know, someone you love, a uh, family member, um, you know, a dog. And so anyway, um, I'm not going to go stick too long on that subject. We all have pets pass, and it's painful. Um, but life moves on, and uh, we're here with Maya now. And she's a terrific addition to the family. And uh, she's a gold-sniffing dog, and she's been so good today. It's pretty darn amazing actually. We're going to take a quick break here for 20 minutes. We've been hunting for probably eight hours now. We got these three little nuggets. I got these three little nuggets. I don't know what Laz has. Um, we'll have to see when he gets back. Um, we kind of did the divide and conquer again. But uh, day's young. We got plenty of daylight to burn and hopefully we'll get more. But that's why they call it prospecting and not finding kids. If it was finding, everybody would be doing it. You want some more? Here's a pro tip. Scoop makes a great little drinking bowl for your puppy. Piece of cake. You want some more, girl? Tell him, Maya, that's a pro tip. What do you think, girl? What do you think? Get some more nuggets? Let's go. Oh, 